Xiaomi, arguably the best brand in terms of producing budget phones with decent specs and low price ranges. Similarly, its sub brand Redmi is no exception. Hello guys, this is Maz Mansoor from MM's Tech and hope you guys are doing great. Today we are reviewing Xiaomi's latest offering here in Pakistan, the Redmi S2. We are having the global version, first let's unbox it. The box is in same typical theme as for other Xiaomi devices with branding up on front while highlighted specs on the back. We will open the box straight we are having the device itself. We will keep it aside and free up rest of the accessories. Another small box which is hiding the case and the user manual. The case is ordinary silicon one to provide bit of protection while the user manual is not of our need. So just plug it and throw it away. A SIM ejection tool. Further we are having the wall adapter which is rated at 54 slash 2 amp. So no fast charging. And a micro USB cable, nothing much. No earphones, come on Xiaomi. Let's take the wrapping of the phone and power it on. After picking the phone for the first time, it feels big, even in my big hand. The design of the phone from the back is very much inspired from Apple. With the inclusion of a fingerprint scanner, Xiaomi here has done a great job in faking their customers with matte plastic back which looks metal and even fake antenna band. But this saves the phone from being a fingerprint magnet. The vertical camera setup on the back. Xiaomi branding on the bottom, below you can find a speaker grills and a micro USB charging port. While the top is coming with a headphone jack, an IR blaster and a microphone. The right side houses the clicky and tactile volume rockers and the power button while the left stores the hybrid SIM card slot. The top chin is covered by an earpiece, front facing camera, notification LED light, front facing flash and other sensors. The screen is coming at nearly 6 inches. It's a 720p display which is ok, not so high end. It is really getting bright and doesn't have any pixel issues. The colors are good and sharp. Although you can't play videos at high resolution but you can enjoy the size of that display. To reach the top of the screen you have to slightly tilt the angle. It's a two handed display. The specs which are offered at this price point are quite interesting. You are getting Snapdragon's latest mid-range chipset, the 625 octa-core 2.0GHz CPU, while 4GB of RAM in my version along with 64GB of storage. Adreno 506 in terms of GPU, the specs are quite decent and make the phone to go through tasks swiftly. Opening apps and switching between them is fast. RAM management is on point, gaming experience is quite good. Very unnoticeable shutter in between which is expected. Android 8.1 Oreo under MIUI 10 which has got upgraded and tries to match with the latest Android offering without an app drawer and gesture enabled. The fingerprint sensor on the back is lightning fast and accurate while the software also support for facial recognition which is just image based. The vertical camera setup on the back includes a 12 megapixel main sensor while the 5 megapixel depth sensor. The pictures coming out are softer, not so sharp. Color a bit oversaturated, outdoor shots are good while indoor shots makes a difference. Portraits are decent as well. The video capability sits around 1080p at 30 frames per second with electronic image stabilization. The front camera is of 16 megapixel and it's great for selfies which are coming out bright with the support of HDR. The speaker down below sounds good with sharp noise, not so high end. Streaming content along with the speaker is average as you will miss the charm of an HD plus display. But the headphone jack is there, the sound coming through these is impressive. The battery inside this thing is 3080mAh which makes the phone great for usage and can carry you through it easily a full day or half more with light usage. This thing charges via the micro USB cable with no fast charging. Redmi S2 is a great device for the bank as it offers decent specs in a fairly decent price range. 
but lack a few bits which are negotiable. Overall, a decent device for day to day use. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to smash that like button. Until next time, peace out.